rolling out the red carpet for star-studded Mountain Stuff Adventures. Junior Shades, right here. With special guest stars. Did someone say Claude Poupet? Big surprises. Hiya! Yeah! Action. Whoa! And adventure. Giddy up, doggy! Yeah! Grab some popcorn for awesome Mountain Stuff Adventures. I'm ready for my close-up. Starting Saturday morning at 11, right here on the Nick Jr. Channel. Mrs. Dark has taken Peppa's boots. And she won't give them back. Let's go! Peppa Pig and the Golden Boots starts right now. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Golden Boots. Pepper and her friends are jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash. Everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. <laughs> 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 Somebody's having fun. <laughs> we love jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, later today, it's the big puddle jumping competition. Ooh! The winner of the competition is the best puddle jumper in the whole world. And my daddy always wins. Ho, ho, ho. I do tend to win, yes. Mr. Pig, how do you always win? A lot of hard training, and I follow a few simple rules. Who knows the first rule of puddle jumping? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. That's right, Pepper. And my boots are very special because they are made of gold. <laughs> they're not gold, they're yellow. They are not yellow. They are real plastic gold. They're yellow. My golden boots, they sparkling glitter. My lovely golden boots. They're yellow. My lovely golden boots. Yellow. Gold, 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 gold. Yellow. Gold. Anyone like some orange juice? Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, it is Mrs. Duck. She has come to take a look at the boots. Oh, no! Cheeky Mrs. Duck is walking off with Peppa's boots. <laughs> oh, where are my boots? That's odd. They were right there. But now they've gone. Without my boots, I can't do the puddle competition. <laughs> it is Mr. Zebra the Postman. Good morning. <laughs> what a lovely day for the puddle jumping competition. <laughs> Whatever's the matter, Pepper? I've lost my boots. Oh, really? I've just seen a duck with boots. Were they gold boots? Uh. No. Um, some people might say my boots were sort of a yellow colour. That's them, yellow boots. And there's the duck wearing them. <coughs> my golden boots! <coughs> Mrs. Duck, can I have my boots back, please? <coughs> Mrs. Duck does not want to give Peppa's boots back. <coughs> There's no escape, Mrs. Duck. You can't just walk away from us. Oh, ducks can run. Mrs. Duck, those are Peppa's boots. Mummy, you won't catch Mrs. Duck. She's too fast. <laughs> Peppa, I may not be as fast as I once was, but I can run faster than a duck. <laughs> oh, that duck can run quite fast. <laughs> Captain Dog is on his boat with Danny Dog. There. All ready to sail. But, Daddy, you said you were never going to sail again. You said you were home for good. 
Ah, yes, I did say that, didn't I? Yes, my sailing days are over. Stop that duck! Hey? Mrs. Duck has taken Pepper's boots. No need to worry. Mrs. Duck has nowhere left to run. Oh, ducks can swim. Daddy, sail after Mrs. Duck. But I said I'd never sail again. Captain Dog, this is an emergency. Oh, in that case, let's go! <laughs> Captain Dog, will we be able to catch up with Mrs. Duck? Oh, oh, Mummy Pig, I think my boat can go faster than a duck. Oh, that's a fast duck. <laughs> It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is not happy. What rotten luck! My boat sank, and now I'm a castaway on this miserable little island. Oh, if only there was something to eat. Oh, a duck. Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! Mrs. Duck has my boots, and she won't give them back. What? Those yellow boots? Yes. My golden boots. Oh, don't worry, Pepper. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. She's surrounded. <coughs> oh, ducks can fly. <coughs> Mrs. Duck is flying higher and higher, all the way to the moon. The moon? Now I'll we'll never get my boots back. <coughs> don't worry, Pepper. Ducks can't really fly to the moon. Why ever not? I've flown to the moon before. Mind you, I was in a rocket, which helped a bit, I suppose. <laughs> rocket? Yep. That rocket on the next island. Built it myself, all out of bits and bobs of scrap metal. Wow! A real space rocket! Grampy Rabbit, can you fly us to the moon? Um, I'm sure Grampy Rabbit has lots of important things to do. Of course we can go, Pepper. Captain Dog, sailors to my rocket. Aye, aye, Captain Rabbit. <laughs> rocket. <laughs> George loves space rockets. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? Safe as houses. Uh, not that houses are made for hurtling through space. We don't need that, mate. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! I... Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one. And have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Pepper. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere. Looking, looking high, looking low, low for the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No. no. Are they on a mountain? No. no. Looking on the moon for the golden boots. <sighs> How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. Shop? Where? You don't get shops on the moon. You do. Look. Postcards, ice cream, buckets and spades. It is Miss Rabbit's gift shop. Oh, hello. 
goodness, someone's turned up. I haven't had a customer on the moon for years and years. Miss Rabbit, have you seen a duck in boots? A duck on the moon? That's a bit unlikely if you ask me. Yes, ducks flying to the moon? Complete nonsense. Why did you tell us to come here, Mummy Pig? What? Uh, but I didn't. Uh, but if Mrs. Duck didn't fly to the moon, where can she be? Grandpa Pig is in his garden, collecting apples. <laughs> Mrs. Duck wearing boots. Those aren't your boots, are they? <laughs> There's nowhere for you to go, Mrs. Duck. You're cornered. These look like Pepper's boots. Uh, hello? Daddy Pig, has Pepper lost a pair of boots? Yes, she has. Grandpa Pig has found your boots, Pepper. Hooray! All aboard! Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> One moment, Peppa. We have to make sure these boots really are yours. Oh. First, let's see if they fit George. <laughs> the boot is too big for George. Oh. Now, Susie Sheep. <laughs> the boot is too small for Susie. Oh. <laughs> it's just like Cinderella. Next, Peppa. The boot is just right for Peppa. <laughs> Good. These boots belong to Peppa. My boots. <laughs> My golden boots. <laughs> now we can go to the puddle jumping competition. Oh, yes. We'd better hurry. The puddle jumping competition is about to begin. Here is Mr. Potato. Let the jumping begin. First up is Daddy Pig. But where is Daddy Pig? <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Potato. We got a bit held up. Daddy Pig, are you ready to jump? I certainly am. <laughs> to jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. I must become one with the puddle. Yeah! A big splash, a very big splash. Daddy Pig is the winner. Hooray! The competition is over. Hey, the competition isn't over until I do my jump. Who? Oh. Of course. Next to jump, it is Mr. Elephant. Yeah! Bigger jump! Yes, Mr. Elephant is the winner! Hooray! Can I have a go too? Uh, oh, of course. Uh, next to jump, it is Pepper Pig. Remember, Pepper, think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. I just made a little splash. So, Mr. Elephant is the winner. Yay! Can I have another go, please? Er, uh, yes, you can. Wait a minute, but but. And this but... time, can all my friends help? Uh, of course. Hang on, I don't think that's really. It sounds perfectly fair to me. Think like puddles. Think, think like, like puddles. puddles. Five, four. and her friends have made the biggest splash ever. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are the winners! Uh, I'd still think... <laughs> it's so nice to have my golden boots again. I still say they're yellow. <sighs> they are my very own magic golden boots. Okay, then my very own boots are Ruby Red. <laughs> <laughs>
and my boots are emerald green. <laughs> Susie loves her ruby red boots. Wendy loves her emerald green boots. Peppa loves her golden boots. Everyone loves their boots. <laughs> Jumping up and down. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In Olden days. Thank you, Pepper. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. 
Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. This sand pit is our desert island. We will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. I saw. <sighs> yes, George. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, you look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Brum, brum, brum. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert island. <laughs> the dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh. Where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. <coughs> Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. <coughs> Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm. I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No. It's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van, if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> With an oink, oink here and a woof, woof there. Here a moo, there a quack, oink, woof, moo, quack. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. <laughs> Way 
to Adventure Bay. Rubble on the double with the Paw Patrol. We'll be right back. You're playing with Nick Jr. Check out what's coming soon over on Nickelodeon. Starting Tuesday. I lost my keys. <gasps> it's a week of mystery. Wear your sunglasses. On Mutton Stuff. I can't find Murray. When things go missing... You have a pack of detectives right here. The Mutton Stuff Detective Agency is on the case. Come on, doggy detectives. Use your noses. Watch them sniff out clues and dig up answers in a week of all-new adventures, starting Tuesday morning at 10, over on Nick. Mikaela's really behind. It made me sad, you know, because it's like, well, I know she's smart. It was tough until I found abcmouse.com, and I was like, oh, lifesaver. ABC Mouse is like a little one-on-one -on -one teacher. It has helped her so much. Her teacher said, wow, I don't know what you've been doing, but it's working really, really well. I'm like, thanks. I was like, that's abcmouse.com. I pinky promised my little girl a fabulous garden party for her birthday. So I mowed the lawn, put up all the decorations. I thought I got everything. Almost everything. You know, one in 10 houses could get hit by a septic disaster and a bill of up to $13,000. But for only $7 a month, Ridex is scientifically proven to break down waste, helping you avoid a septic disaster. Ridex, the number one brand used by septic professionals in their own tanks. Do you want us to become secret agents? Let's do this. <laughs> Barbie Spy Squad. Now on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. Not rated. Don't mess with the Spy Squad. Woo. I pinky promised my little girl a fabulous garden party for her birthday. So I mowed the lawn, put up all the decorations. I thought I got everything. Almost everything. You know, one in 10 houses could get hit by a septic disaster and a bill of up to $13,000. But for only $7 a month, Ridex is scientifically proven to break down waste, helping you avoid a septic disaster. Ridex, the number one brand used by septic professionals in their own tanks. 85% of brain growth is complete by age three. Enfagrow Next Step helps nourish this growth because it has nutrients like DHA. Two servings a day give your toddler this important brain nourishing support. Try Enfagrow Toddler today. Right after this, it's time to race to the rescue with the Paw Patrol. Stand back, pups at work. We'll be right back. Imagine pens that can change colors or reveal a secret message. It's magic. No, it's Magic Pens by Whammo. The all-new magical pens that change color like magic and erase color like magic right before your eyes. Shoot fireworks high into the sky. Create amazing 3D artwork. With the Activator Pen, you can color in reverse. Erase mistakes for perfect pictures every time. You can get your Magic Pens by Whammo at these fine stores. Noggin, the subscription video service designed with your preschooler in mind, adds new videos every week. And now, Animals of the Jungle rejoice because Go Diego Go joins the lineup to save the day. Yay! Plus, keep your notebook handy and your eyes peeled for clues. Blue's Clues on the Noggin app. We have all three clues. Monthly subscription fees apply, but you can start your seven-day free trial now for access to all the newest shows, episodes, and educational videos on the Noggin app. Available for Apple and Android devices. Kathy's gotten used to the smell of lingering garbage in her kitchen. Yep, she's gone nose blind. She thinks it smells fine, but her guests smelled this. Febreze Air Effects Heavy Duty has up to two times the odor eliminating power to remove odors you've gone nose blind to. Use Febreze Air Effects till it's fresh and try Febreze Small Spaces to continuously eliminate up to two times the odors for 30 days. Febreze Small Spaces and Air Effects. Two more ways to breathe happy. Are you Gaga for Gil? Nuts for Nani. I love these guys. Then get ready to have a swimmingly good time with Bubble Guppy's Super Fan Sunday. Wow, cool. Dive into a full day of fantastic guppy adventures. Flying saucer. Sing along songs. A puppy is a guppy's best friend. best friend. And guppy trivia questions like, this guppy always wears glasses. Can you name him? If you guessed Nani, you're right. 
Hello. It's Bubble Guppy's Super Fan Sunday. Next Sunday. What time is it? Starting at 11. Right here on Nick Jr. Saturday, we are rolling out the red carpet for star-studded Mountain Stuff Adventures. Junior Shades, right here. With special guest stars. Did someone say Claude Poupet? Big surprises. Hiya! Yeah. Action. Whoa! And adventure. Giddy up, doggy! Yeah! Grab some popcorn for awesome Mountain Stuff Adventures. I'm ready for my close-up. Starting Saturday morning at 11, right here on the Nick Jr. Channel. It's time to play with Nick Jr. When your kids are on a mission with the Paw Patrol, they develop valuable social skills like teaching.